all right all right welcome to Vikas web channel and today's video is pretty exciting video because i will be doing exact same thing in three different projects so the first one is vanilla javascript second one in react and then also in view project so uh, i know this video is going to be long so that's why i will recommend you to watch this video with 1.5x speed or even two if you think i'm speaking pretty slow as well as i will leave all the time stamps uh, down there in description so you can jump into any where that you are interested in so this is a typical case of a source bar that you will see in most of the application if not all of the applications so a typical case you will type something here and then the list gets uh, filtered and you will see the data that matches with whatever you are typing into so this is what uh, this project is about and if that sounds interesting for you hit that uh, like button as well as if you are new to this channel subscribe my channel so that you will get new and new contents as we grow with that being said let's start the video so i have an example here which i already did uh, some time ago maybe a year or even two so here this was done in react and you can get this netlify link uh, i will put this in the description below so if you type something like let's say avocado or if you type onion and there there are like all this thing on that matches but if you type onion then you will get only onion similarly uh, i don't know if i type kiwi then there are two different type of kiwi and so on However, we'll not create uh, all this uh, cool looking logo and, and search uh, icon and everything, but we will try to replicate the similar thing. So for that, uh, I will uh, use this project and I already have search bar here and I also have the card design and I will leave whole code GitHub in uh, link in the description so you can follow along. Um, but for this video, I'm not going to jump into CSS that much or maybe not at all because that's not the part of this video. So the first thing, the first part of the video will be JavaScript and I'm here in my VS code and I have already divided the code into JavaScript and then I have React version and I have Vue version and uh, these are all empty project uh, except CSS in JavaScript but we don't even have CSS or div or anything on in these two projects. So first thing first, I would like to start with our JavaScript or plain JavaScript version. And for that, I have an index uh, HTML file here. And basically, uh, we have uh, one uh, simple app and inside a application, we have an app wrapper and then we have a source bar here. And then we have item wrappers and that will be uh, wrapping all our items. And I have also given the ID item wrapper here. And also I have given ID uh, sorts here for sorts. These are the only two IDs that we will be using. And then for this uh, CSS purpose, I have one uh, this item card, uh, which we can obviously use as a template and uh, edit it from our JavaScript, or we can write completely uh, all of this item card inside JavaScript. That is what I'm going to do it. But for this, I, I just have an example. So just to show you, uh, we have this, and if I duplicate this, which we will have programmatically, then we have this kind of thing. It's a kind of responsive, uh, but obviously if I type something here, it does basically nothing. And that's what we want to fix it. So for that, uh, let's go and let's delete everything else from here. And let's just uh, not even have one here because we don't need that. Okay, so we have uh, only one item here. And let's uh, go into JavaScript. And uh, here in JavaScript, I have uh, app.js already included here and that's what our app.js and also I have items uh, additionally you can also get these items or this kind of data from your API that is also possible but uh, for this uh, project I have this kind of uh, PLU code you know in grocery stores for each item they have different codes and then uh, cashier will enter those codes so I'm trying to mimic that here our app.js is completely empty and I have also given the type module because I would like to import something there okay so the first thing first uh, let's go here in our app.js and let's try to import this data and for that I will do import everything as data from our module.js and just to check if we have everything let's go here and let's go data and then let's do data so now uh, let's go to console log here 
and you see we already have data model and inside data we have items okay and if i do data dot items and then i will get all the items here everything what we have so far so that's all about our data and for that reason i will i will create uh, two arrays one so let's hold data into arrays so first i will say cons items is same as data does items so basically what we are getting from here but also i will have filter item and that is what we will be uh, actually using to show the data here so filter means every time and there is some action going on some filter going on uh, in this case one list typing but in future if you have sorting or anything you can use that okay so basically that will be our filtered items and initially this will be just our items or even we can call it data items so technically we don't even need these items uh, we can just have filter items and that is data items so now if we go here and it's obviously but just to show you we have our filter items here all right this is all good so the next thing let's first get our input field okay so input uh, So our source input is with an ID of sorts. Okay, so we can just do document dot get element by ID, and as you saw, we have sorts. Similarly, we will also like to have our item wrappers, and that's where we will have all these cards created dynamically. So let's also have uh, items wrapper, and that will be document dot get element by id and that will be wrapper so these are one, these are only two things that uh, we need for our main html selection uh, and everything else we will do from our javascript here so i would like to create one function and this function is generate in the visual card so get or let's say generate card and for that this will be a function that will have data or we can even call item however we like to say and all this does is it will return some uh, sort of html and for that let's just go to our item card and let's just copy this and then let's just use that so this is going to return this every time we will pass some item and then that will be uh, returned here so with some dynamic value here at the moment we have a static value so let's change this data item or we can even give, give key and then this is not even necessary and then i think we have code if i remember correctly so codes are kind of unique so let's give that and then here we have code so i will give this code and then we have image here and then this image what we can do is and by the way if you see almost all of our items have the same banana picture so even though we will have the same image don't get confused it's just because that's what we have data but if we change that to something else it will definitely get updated and then another thing we want to do is title so instead of hard written here hard coded here let's just go and let's just give it a title and that's all we need so we have already created our uh, generate card and then now what we can do here is we can actually go and delete this and that's all and now if you see we don't have anything there okay so the next thing i will also like to create this is to generate individual card and then i would like to update our update items wrapper uh, div so we want to update this item wrapper divs okay so let's say cons update items wrapper okay and then this will also e expect something and it will expect items so basically all these uh, items we need to pass there 
and then this will also return something and what it will returns is it will returns whatever the items we have okay and then we will map it and when we map we will get item and if you are confused about this i have a separate video about array.map array.filter and everything so go there and check it out and so we have now its item that is its item of the object and then for its item what we want to do is we want to use this function okay and then that function expects item so we do that so what it is it does is when we are calling this function and we are passing items that will be array uh, it will return items and it will map through each and it will create card for each of those items so if we have two items we will get two cards and so on okay so that's the thing uh, but yeah that's that's all uh, it's actually not updating item uh, it's like get items get item wrappers item and then when we have this what we can do now is update items wrapper here so here if you see items wrapper and then there is something called inner html and here i can do is get item not that get items wrapper and here i can pass filter item so if i go here and i see you can see that we have all these uh, dynamic value as i said uh, this banana was like that so for example if we go here and eggplant icon if i just search something like that and let's also get png so okay this is not png this is not png okay this is png so if i copy image address and if i go here if i search eggplant and then replace this i have no idea how are the sizes there however if i go here and you see we have eggplant so you can replace those images if you like but for now i will just keep uh, these bananas for everywhere so now we have these data and it's dynamically generated because we don't have anything here in our uh, html and everything is generated here because we have two functions the first function is generate card where we pass item and it will create each uh, for this deep component and then we have generate item wrappers which will uh, loop as many times as it requires for each item inside items array and then it will hold some value and then we are passing everything in our inner html so that's done so the now the next logic is uh, filter as user type so we have to handle that and for that reason we already have something called source input okay so if you go source input here then there is something can add events listener and if you do like this we have a lot of things click change everything what we want is input we can uh, have event here and let's call an error function and for now let's just do console log user typed and what user type event dot target dot value so now if we go here and if i type something you see there is what user typed right okay so we can use this value and uh, use this method to actually uh, reflect the change there so for that reason let's go here and what we can do is we can update our filter items okay is data dot items so we are still using the original value because uh, this filter item will get uh, mutated it will get updated so we cannot uh, filter uh, for this so we have to use the original data here so and then i can do filter so that's also uh, array dot uh, prototype so um, just like we have array dot map here we have array dot filter and just like we got item inside that we will also have item here and what i want is item dot and then in our case title dot includes if item dot title so that is whatever this title is if that includes whatever the user have typed 
okay then we will return that only that value so and that will be written as uh, filter items and then after that we can basically update our element here now if i go here and if i type key you see we have kiwi okay however there is still one thing we need to consider so for example if i type here capital key you see we don't get anything although we have kiwi right it is because it is case sensitive so for that reason let's go here and for this value we can do two lowercase and we can also do basically the same thing for our event title so this way despite like whether this this value is in capital or our typing thing is capital whatever we will still get so for example if i go do like this you see or i can even have like a and we have do b capital and o capital c whatever i do it will show me the list and that is what uh, it is about filtering items as you search on so you can search anything with capital or a small letter it really doesn't matter and that is all we need to do for our javascript part here we have react versions and this is an empty uh, react project so let me go here and let's go here and i will go to react person and i will do and start so that you can see what we have already done there so here we have uh it's just written hello there so that's all we have done so far uh, basically i just cleaned everything all the logos and everything like i do in most of my other uh, videos so you can get reference from there and so that we have f.cs basically that was even uh, already there so i can technically delete everything here and um, then I have uh, app.tss which uses this app.cs and then I just have an empty div called hello. So what we can do is we can go to our uh, index.html uh, from our earlier project and then we can basically uh, copy everything. Obviously, it will not work uh, just like that. So we need to do some modification because it's React and we are not going to do inner HTML and everything there. However, uh, we can still use uh, this as a boilerplate and we will modify it there. So you will also get idea how to convert HTML into uh, React project. Okay, so let's go here. And first thing first, we can not use class. So for each class we have to do something and that is we have to change it to class name that's what react expects and another thing uh, this id here will be almost useless because uh, we will have some on chains or some other easily available option and then inside this wrapper uh, we will loop ourselves something so we don't need to use inner html or some anything like that okay and then uh, another thing what I would like to do is I like to go and copy everything from here and then paste it in our app.cs so that way we have also CSS covered and as you can see now our react also have almost the same approach that we had earlier okay so the next thing what we need to do in our react application is let's copy this item.js okay and then uh, let's actually close everything because we don't need uh, everything from our earlier project so let's go and let's paste these items uh, here and then uh, inside our ape.tsx what we can do is we can import our so let's import as data from uh, items and let me just console log data here and then data so that's all i want to do and just like earlier we also have uh, data and then there is items that's good so what i would like to do is i would like to create a state here because that's how we will start so it will be the same thing like what we had in our html so filter items and then we will also have setter here and that will be filter items 
and that will be react use state additionally you can also import it here and initially what we will have is we will have data dot items that's what we will have initially and also we will use react use effect so that it will update every time uh, we enter to this component and we will use data here as dependencies and then we will use set filter items data dot items all right so this is all good i guess and then uh, what we can do now is we can already start uh, okay let's go here and then here what we can do is filter items dot map we will get item and then now uh, i think i have to go back uh, to our javascript here in our app.js and here uh, basically the same thing we need to copy because we need this uh, so obviously we can create a separate component uh, because that's what mostly react is about you you make uh, as many components as a lower level uh, component as possible because that way it's easier to deal things but for this project i'm not going to create a separate card component but just telling you so that if you like uh, you can create a card component and then instead of this first thing first uh, let's change all of our class from here to class name so that's good and then another thing is our react expects key so that we can give item dot code you see it already knows that what we have available and we don't need this dollar sign here and we don't need this dollar sign here and also we don't need this dollar sign here and not this and not this i guess that's all so if we go here you can see that we already have our data populated here so the next thing is we have to handle filter so let's go and here what we need to do is cons handle filter uh, do we need something yes we will need event and that will be react dot event okay well for now i'll just give any and i'll come back to that later so what we want is we just want this handle filter in our on chains okay okay let's go here uh, and actually make this react dot on chains event and then that will be st ml input element so okay so now what we can do is we can also console log here event change and here we can do event dot target dot value and now let's see when user types yes yeah we have everything like we had earlier in our javascript but it's much easier in react as you can see okay so now all we need to do is we need to uh, create one array first so you know that i always use this temporary variable for this but additionally you can also do temp i have already explained in uh, my previous video and i will get everything from that items because that's our original uh, items and then what i can do is actually i don't even need this uh, i can already do that data dot items dot filter item item dot title dot to lowercase dot includes and then event dot target to value okay this is all we need and now all we need to do is set filter item and this so now if we go here let me refresh this let me clear this now if i start typing something you can see it's already filtering so if we want eggplant and it is 
okay even if we provide capital letter or everything so with this our second uh, task that is to convert this into react is also done so the next version is our Vue.js version okay so we are here inside our view application and uh, also just like i had in react uh, this view application is also completely empty i have just clear uh, stops and that's all and even we have a application here actually we will not even need this uh, because we will copy paste everything uh, from somewhere else so let's just do like that and that's all okay so now uh, this is empty i just have hello and i don't have any components anything i have completely clear so the first thing uh, let's copy our item to js also here in view and that's all we need and then inside view here uh, again also in view project i will not create any components i will just do everything in our main application component or app level component so inside the script i will also do input everything as data from our items okay that's all and then uh, before we do anything with data let's also try to edit our html so uh, for view it's even easier for us because unlike react we don't need to change a uh, class name and everything there so all i can do is uh, basically the same thing so if i go here i have some problem here and data is defined but never used well never mind uh, let's actually comment this out for now okay so we have source items and everything that's good uh, the next thing is let's copy our styles from here and then uh, i'm not exactly sure if we can do root and everything there but let's try to do it okay so we have also all our css and everything uh, here in our view application that's good so the next thing uh, is definitely dealing with uh, items and uh, let's go here and let's do data and then uh, data we can do is function and return and then here we have filter items and initially it's uh, an empty array okay so uh, for view our uh, life cycle book will be created so let's do create it and then here console log now we can have data and that will be data dot items and let's take this out and if we go here we have all our data there that's good so uh, when we have created uh, we can do this is almost same as uh, use effect so what we can do is this dot filtered items is same as data dot items so that way when we create we immediately update that and then uh, the next thing is okay so based on this data let's uh, also go here and we have to bring back our html uh, from our app.js so let's copy this and then now we don't need that anymore so let's have that all right that's good and obviously this will not work so we need to do some modification there but for now what i can do is be for uh, item in filter items and then here it will expect a key so i can give key item dot code so that will give key here and then i can remove this and i can remove this and all it requires is double uh, bracket and double bracket and this has to be changed like this and this should remove and you can see it right i have to do like this okay so we have all the data here so the last part remaining is how to handle the filtering okay so uh, just like with everything uh, we had we can also attach uh, input native here that is also okay also we can have v model because uh, is it v model yes uh, so let's just write sorts payload 
and we don't have this yet so we have to go to our data here and we have to give initially empty string and then what we can do is we can have some sort of watcher so yeah so here we can create what and then it's almost like our react use effect and then we are passing dependencies most probably view 3 has something uh, but i'm not used to it so i'm going to use a little bit old-fashioned way you can comment it out uh, if you have a better option i still have to see view 3 documentation although this is a view 3 project i still am using uh, as if it's a view 2 so what i'm going to watch is i'm going to watch source payload and uh, this will be a function so now i can do console log and again payload is this dot source payload so now if we go here and if i start typing something you can see that it keeps on typing and that's enough for us so all we need to do here is this dot filter item is same as data dot items dot filter item and you guessed it right so we cannot do it in uh different line otherwise we have to return it so let's do everything here data dot item dot title to local nah i don't need lowercase dot includes what we need to do is this dot source payload to lowercase and i think that's all about it let's also remove that console log we had somewhere we have that console log do we still have that console log well let's refresh everything gone now let's start typing and you see banana you see okay so that sums up our uh, all the tasks that we were supposed to do this for uh, this video uh, we did uh, started with javascript and then we converted that into react version and also in view version everything working uh, as expected so if you like this video if you learned something from this video uh, feel free to comment it out tell me what you liked what you didn't like or what was easy in view or what easier in react what were easier in uh, normal javascript project which one do you prefer the most uh, your preference are always welcome so comment it out if you uh, didn't understand something there or i was too fast on something then comment it out i will make a separate video or explanation video in upcoming uh, videos uh, with that all being said if you like the video remember to hit that like button and if you like this kind of content also feel free to subscribe my channel because i am going to upload new and new videos money stack is coming soon uh, node and express is coming soon all of them are definitely going to be uploaded here so for that reason uh, tag your friend who is learning a front-end development or even full stack development they will be really happy to uh, get all these videos with that being said Thank you so much for watching this video and staying until this point. Uh, I will see you in next videos. Until then, keep coding. Bye-bye.